if we if one of our customers decide to sell on DDP terms, um, and those those of us who are not familiar with DDP, that would be considered all the transportation costs paid by the shipper up to the ultimate destination, as well as any customs clearance charges and any duties and taxes are paid by the shipper. Um, so if they're selling on DDP terms, can can you get your GST or VAT tax back? Um, and if so, how do we go about that? No, you can't. If you do it like DDP, you're you have to pay it. Okay. It's, the only way you you get it back is like if the consignee accept to to do that. And it's since it's deductible, there there's normally not a problem at all. So it's better to send on a DAP basis. So maybe maybe explain that a little bit for us, Jerry, in regards to DDP terms. If you were a importer of record in Sweden, how does yeah. that GST VAT tax back work? Uh, the government charges the, the VAT directly to, to the Swedish consignee. And once a month, they do like a tax declaration to the government. And then you can deduct all, all the VAT charges for imports. Okay. And is that something that um, these type of rules that you guys have in Sweden, is that something that's kind of commonplace throughout Europe or just to Sweden? No, I think it's uh, within the union. It's, uh, it's the same tax rules. Okay, great. So you do like a clearance in Germany on, on a Swedish company and the, Swedish, uh, the German government will charge the Swedish government who will charge the, the, uh, the Swedish client. So okay. It, when it comes to within the union, it's, it's the same regulations. Okay. Um, so in your recommendation, as we look through that process of the DDP shipments or, or, or D. Yeah, I, I, I strongly recommend a DAP instead. And that way our, our clients can then push that clearance charges onto their customer, onto, yeah, the, onto the Swedish consignee to be able to have the most benefit for the dollar. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's good. We don't want to, uh, um, on, I, you know, and, uh, on either side, whether it's the Swedish side or the uh, American side, we don't want to, uh, you know, uh, incur more charges than are necessary. Yeah. Uh, so true. So true.